Okay guys, today is May 7th and it is time to do the next update. So we will start with uh, this large plant here that I took from um, inside over winter and it is starting to produce fruits. And actually there is one fruit right here already. So um, today we're going to do some fertilizing so I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. All right guys, here is what I'm using and this stuff here smells really bad but the plants will love it. So read the instructions here. Uh, I always like to go uh, as inst instructed or a little less. So what I'm going to do is do one tablespoon per gallon of water. So that's what I'm going to do. And I already added the uh, the solution in there so I'm just gonna add water fill this up and then we're going to water our plants so I'm gonna show you um, some of the larger plants that we have right now they're growing really nice there it is that is the bed with the most beautiful plants so far and I already have a fruit for this one here so it's in there so most of these are grown pretty big so it's time to give it a dose of fertilizer. So you just... Just like that. So fertilize your plants when uh, they're needing some or when they're, uh, they're growing. And then once they start to bloom a bunch, we're going to have to slow down a little bit. And then we may go with the, uh, the bloom formula. So uh, I'll take you there once we get there. So um, that is it for now. That is exactly how I fertilize so far. All right, guys, today is May 17th and it has been 10 days since I started fertilizing my plants. And they are looking really, really nice. Uh, a few plants are starting to put out fruit, so I will show you. So we'll start with the Super Pekin. And let me see. There's some fruits in here. Look at these. See that? So this is the first plant to fruit. It has a few. Very good size one. Right here's another one. So this time of the year is a great time to check for uh, the hornworms and I did notice a few eggs on some of my plants I, and I picked them off so um, I, I don't have it to show you right now but I'll see if I can put some pictures on the screen so you know what they look like. But uh, check your plants and if you notice hornworm eggs um, they're going to be more than just one. So um, just keep an eye out and here's some more. This one actually came from my hydroponic system and it was uh, the same age as probably one of these here or I think it was that actually it came out of the same um, cup and look at that. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll let this get um, acclimated and then I'll transplant that into my raised bed and just want to show off my arugula bed so i've used a bunch and there's still so much left i love growing these things they're just amazing plants they taste great too and they're really expensive in the grocery store so it's best to grow them at home and some of the seeds flew over here when i was dropping them so they grew there Okay, anyway, this bed here is just looking horrible. So I think my soil mixture is bad. I think it gets really compacted, so that's why the plants are just suffering like crazy. So no nothing happens here. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, redo this bed. So um, we'll, we'll check back on those guys. I haven't given up on them yet, but they just look terrible. Like, like no growth at all. So I just know that my soil mixture was bad and it's because I was testing as well. So um, maybe in the next update, I'll do something new and hopefully there's some changes to those. 
and here as well is just um, bad soil mixture and I, I think it's too it's too it's not deep enough either so I'm gonna add an, another layer and then add more soil all right and this bed here is starting to look a lot better so here are my lemon starburst it's still still small but there's a lot of hope for these so I see these guys here they got eaten up to a stem only and it actually came back so <laughs> I'm really happy to see that I think it was the same for this one here so this one's looking good uh, you, I can see progress all right and then the bed right next to it is also looking okay not not too great but there's progress coming and then my ground cherry is just growing like out of control so it's going to start uh, to produce very soon so I will have ground cherries in a few weeks I love those things and then here things are starting to get a lot better as we go down so here these guys are growing really really well and look at these flowers I think I'm gonna get a fruit right there so I did not top these guys because it was too late in the season but I think they're gonna do okay and right there those are doing great and this guy is just doing fantastic same as here and then these are the ones that I got um, later which is the California Wonder and I topped those guys because it just didn't look great coming out of the nursery you see there there's a topping part right there top part and now it has new shoots and lots of flowers and this one here was the small oak tree that came along with it I got two for one and I did not top that guy in and, and not looking good but there's some flowers there okay this one's looking awesome as well so here's some kind of melon that got uh, that grew their volunteer so right in the middle I'm gonna leave it and there's fruits already so that's really cool I'm gonna see if I can help pollinate that to make sure I get a fruit okay and here look at this the tomatoes are just taking off so um this one here doing good as well so I'll show you the tomatoes just in case you're wondering this is the berries crazy cherry that I got from Paula man those things are just crazy I guess that's what the name says crazy but let me show you. I think I know why they call crazy because look at this each cluster can have like up to 30 fruits or sometimes even more look at that see they're just loaded so the bottom I've, I've been picking a bunch of tomatoes to use so as soon as they get uh, they change color I'll pick them so that's why all these clusters have no fruits but uh, they should have a ton of them look at that one you see that all of those little tiny flowers should be fruits uh, very soon and here this is the chocolate sprinkle and I got this from Home Depot actually look at this very beautiful tomatoes they're quite large for cherry tomatoes and those look at that I have fruits everywhere so here lots and lots of fruits and this is a sweet 100 these guys are supposed to produce a lot as well and I see a lot of fruits they're just everywhere so I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of cherry tomatoes and these guys are indeterminate so they're gonna outgrow those cage and probably fall over like I had last year of the uh, sun sugar okay moving on down this is another bed of peppers and I think these are the Kangsta yellow and that one is a stargazer gold and those are the white tie look at that looking really nice and this is a bed of extra stuff so um, I will let you see what will come of this very soon but let me show off my sorrel 
There's a sorrel. I love those plants. They taste like green apples. Okay, finally, the best for last. Here's my cucumber bed with some peppers and the cucumbers are covering up my peppers right here so that might be a problem I might have to do some clearing so let me show off my cucumbers real quick look at those see these here they grow like an inch a day guys they grow so fast like that one right there man I didn't yesterday it wasn't that long so I need to pick that one soon because when they get too big they'll get tough so they won't be good anymore anyway that's just the cucumber bed and these are Tyranos from Jay Jay if you're watching buddy this is your plants right here one two and three and they are flowering and sweet apples here these are fantastic um, variety of sweet sweet peppers those are sweet apples and back here are just the regular serrano that i grew so we'll compare the difference between the tyrano and the serrano and then the last bed of peppers here man these are just fantastic looking so uh those back there are sugar rush from paula paula if you're watching those are your plants they're just beautiful they grow like they're on steroids or something they just look amazing and they produce very early so I had to top them but now they have fruits already after the topping so there it is right there and then this is my torch here and um, still very unstable so I can't wait to see what's gonna come of this uh, they're very interesting variety uh, they just look beautiful to me and then the sweet misery still small so uh, that's it guys they are looking fantastic so um, we're making some progress this is May 17th so uh, still have a long season ahead of me um, that's just a quick update for now and uh, I will probably going to fertilize with uh, my fish emulsion every week um, as but until they starting to put out fruits then I'll slow down for these guys and I may change the formula to uh, a different to assist with the with bloom and stuff like that but uh, we'll see I'll I'll take you along and, and let you see but I'll end this update for now and we will be back in the next episode thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe